Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Now tonight's pour is going to be a Hot Wheels themed painting, you guessed it. So the car I picked out tonight is a 64 Lincoln Continental convertible. Now if you can see that, I'm trying to get it so the reflection lights. Not so. so it's a nice, big, long car. It'd be one of those cars that if you were in an accident, you'd want to be in a car like that that's just huge and humongous and you probably wouldn't hardly dent it up at all. But as you can see, it's got a real light interior of blue and it's got the blue on the background. Well, the reason why is I wanted to, I picked this car because I wanted a blue and white car painting. So I wanted to go with the background of blue and then white coming out. But I changed my mind by the time I got down here or while I was finding the car and going, because I wanted to go with the dark blue with the white. And so I, I was thinking of Prussian blue. Well, Prussian blue dries real dark, almost a black. And so I didn't want that alone. So I ended up using Prussian blue. This is a Grumbecker, Grumbacher. It's an Academy acrylic. Then Master's Touch. I went with an Ultramarine. I'd mixed three blues here. Artist Loft, and it's a light blue light blue so I ended up mixing those three and I poured them all in one cup I didn't really layer them but I just poured like a third of each and then a third of an each and then the last of the each and did a dirty cup so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it out and try to fill the whole canvas up and then I'm just going to blow white out the back so that's what I'm going to do so all I got to do is adjust the camera and we'll start pouring like all right normally I don't record anymore the laying laying down of the base color because it's boring and there's not really any reason to show that so I level out my canvas I don't show that anymore because I've already got it done but the reason I'm doing that is because I have mixed all my colors into one cup and so I'm going to just, and I have extra paint. in this one. A lot more paint than what I normally use. So I'm just going to run this off. So we're just gonna gonna have a kind of a different background than just a regular old plain background. So this is kind of the old style way I used to I haven't painted like this in a while. Kind of cover up those corners. Check this side and see if make sure I got all the edges covered. I do. Get some of this paint off of me. Bubbles out of this. I guess I don't need that. So now we get to get some white, which I've already got white. It's Masters, no, it's Artist Loft White.
this wall wide up here. Just right there at the beginning. Car up, see what it looks like here. All right. What I'm going for there is just the effect of maybe pushing the water out. So I think I'll leave it like that, see how it looks. Seems like almost it would be better if it was a boat one, but that's all right. We'll go with this. All right, so this is dried and I have the back taped and we're gonna use some resin on this. This is a 10 by 20 canvas. I'm using seven ounces of resin, pro marine resin. And of course I find that information on art resin calculator. It's a good website, a good tool to use to figure out how much resin is required for any size canvas. And it gives you the total amount of resin. So you do have to remember that it's a, a two-part kit of hardener and epoxy 
So you need to split that number. So this one gave me seven ounces. So I have to do three and a half of each. So remember that little tip when you're looking at that. It does say the total resin on there. So you have to remember that. sitting here from the last one. I didn't throw it away. I guess I just threw it on the table. I was in a hurry that morning. I had to go to work, but I wanted to get it, the tape pulled off of it before I went to work. But this table's got to get cleaned off real, real soon here. I'm getting messy. So what I do is I spread it, spread the resin with my hand, easiest way to get it off, spread, oh, not off, but get it spread around the, on your canvas real fast, because you only have so much time before it really starts, starts hardening up enough that it's not, can't work with it much. And I know it doesn't really take, after you've done it for a while, it doesn't really take as long, so I don't really have to hurry all that much, but I still like to do it fast. I don't like to spend a whole lot of time down here doing this. So I spread it around with, I just wear a rubber glove and spread it around. It's self-leveling. I get it all along the sides because I do want it on the sides of the canvas, as I do. You may, I know there are some people that take the sides and don't, just resin the top. That's not me. But you can do what you want. It's your painting. It's your work. You do it how you want it. I know there's things that you should do to follow. Like a lot of people say you shouldn't seal a painting with resin or anything else unless it's set for four weeks. I am not one of those people that does that. There's times when I've resined it the next day if it's dry. So it doesn't bother me. I have no patience. I can't wait four to six weeks or whatever it is. I got to get it done. I see, of course, I'm on these fluid acrylic sites and I see people online saying, oh, I, you know, I need a dry, how, how do you, how, where do you put all your paintings to dry? And I'm like, well, for me, I don't, I don't paint. I used to paint a couple a day. And so, but they were eight by tens and they were usually dry by the next day or at least dry enough that I can move them somewhere. So I didn't have a ton, but I think when they're talking about drying, having drying racks to place them somewhere. I think they're letting them, they're setting them off for the four weeks or so, four to six weeks before they seal them. And so they're getting these, all sorts of stuff. And I'm like, shoot, I just, I just seal them with a spray gloss enamel or I resin them and then I hang them on the wall or put them, put them together. So I don't have drying racks, if that's what you're wondering. All right. So I think, <clears throat> oh, there's something right there. Where that came from. So 
we have our car here. So we're going to put it in here to where it's like splashing. Like right there. All right. So there we have it. A 64 Lincoln Continental convertible. Going through the water. You know, they can sit, they often refer to these as a boat. And that's kind of what it looks like is a boat going through water. But anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And also leave a comment. Let me know what you think of it. If you think this piece was, I, I missed the mark on it because of the, the watery look. The more watery background or if you just like it because it doesn't have to be water it, it could be just a design it doesn't have to be a solid color just let me know what you think and uh, leave a comment and i'll either like it or not reply to you or who knows thanks for watching